the forces of evil, as I call them. They started to fight the forces of life. They said, we want to control this. We want to control knowledge. We own it. We want to determine that. That was the birth hour of the chemical cartel. Why is the chemical cartel so important? Well, maybe you never thought about it, but chemical industry is the industry that determines essentially everything. The colors that you see, the panes of your house, the materials you sit on, the car you drive, the seats in there, the drugs you take, the socks you wear. Go through the next 24 hours, more than 50% of the things you touch come from the chemical industry. No other industry is as pervasive as that in our life. And here is its origin. 1863, Bayer was incorporated. The same year, Hoechst was incorporated. Hoechst today is incorporated in Sanofi, French company. Two years later only, BASF was incorporated. So that was the, the time of, of complete um, of a launch of knowledge in this area about 150 years ago. What did they do? Well, the first thing they did is they copied nature. Here's the picture of a willow tree. You see them along every river. Well, they found that the willow tree contains in its bark a substance that kills pain. So they reproduced that substance, added a little molecule, and had acetylic, salicylic acid, better known as aspirin. And they patented that. Same thing with the coca blend. They isolated the substance that takes away the pain and they got procaine. And they reproduced it. They were able to identify it and reproduce it synthetically. And they did so not just with two substances, but with hundreds, in fact, thousands of substances. <coughs> 